Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever seen anything called luxurious, erase it because this property is going to set the standard for luxury property here on the channel. I tell you guys, all through touring real estate here on the channel, I have never seen anything as huge, as gigantic, and very expensive here on the channel. The property is somewhere in Fumba Uptown and is on a street called the Millionaire Mile right here in the Fumba Uptown Estate. So you have million dollar properties right here, just like this one, all right? So details of the property, it's sitting on 3,000 square meters. That's the whole land area, but the house itself is sitting on 1,500 square meters. So you have over 1,500 square meters of just green spaces and exterior surroundings. The house itself, oh boy, it's really big, right? We have over eight bedrooms and we have four living rooms, four kitchen, uh, we have a library, an office, a gym, a cinema, the biggest I have ever seen in a property, a laundry room, garage that can pack four SUVs and also an exterior parking space that can accommodate another four or five vehicles, all right? Let's talk about the swimming pool. It goes all the way as low as like five feet deep. I know you're asking, the property is on the market for 12 million it's really awesome that I would have to step into a property that a future millionaire or billionaire is going to purchase, all right? And of course, if you're on the market looking for a property like this, look at the description section. I'm going to put the listing agent, the company. You can reach out to them and have that conversation sorted out for you, all right? Subscribe to the channel if it's your first time. We have more videos coming out from Tanzania that's going to interest you, all right? Without further ado, let's begin the tour. So we're going to start this tour from the exterior, which is the entrance to the property. Uh, coming to this property, you're welcomed by this huge gate house. It brings you into the driveway now. As I told you, you have like a very big exterior space. You can park your luxury vehicles if you don't want to put them inside on there. Uh, it kind of like welcomes you into the property now. This is the security quarters. So this is where the security would leave. This entrance takes you directly into the study or the library. A very good detail or a tiny detail I want to point out first is you have this uh, pond right here. To my far right hand side, you have a garage. Once again, can take four cars. But hey, if you have more vehicles, this is a storage for you. You can park all your vehicles on here. Very nice uh, detailing right here on the POP. I love the fact that you have glass facade on here. So you're having the natural light into the property. You're going to see that for yourself. Coming to your property, it looks like you're stepping into a true mansion because everything is really high. So, uh, what did they say? Karibu or Ashanti Sana? <laughs> eh? Karibu, welcome to this property. Let's go in. This gigantic door, I don't know if it's bulletproof, but it welcomes you into this multi-million dollar property. Come in, guys. Welcome home, guys. Um, so, we're going to start the tour first by going to, I mean, just like the White House, you have the right hand wing, you have the left hand wing. So we're probably going to start from the right hand wing and then to the left hand wing. All right. OK, so if you first step into this property, you have a view of a shallow side of the pool that extends to the deeper side. Um, this is like the what I would like to call an ante room. You know, people like to call an ante room a waiting area, but there's an even bigger waiting area right here, right? So it's a double volume situation right here. Now you have a very huge sandalia already up the top of my head. You're looking at like what? $50,000 up there. Come down the staircase, guys. You have, you know, detailing on there as well. And it welcomes you into an area I would like to call the main waiting area, all right? This can be like a lounge for your visitors as well. It's wrapped in, you know, very big couch. 
Something I really do love about the property is the super high ceilings. I mean, guys, come in here. Take a look at this. This is already like a two floor, but you know, they blew it up so you have that feeling that you're living in a real luxurious property, all right? So the sitting area arrangement right here for your guests that just want to come into the property and relax. And then you also have an area if you want to dine and wine with your friends and you don't want to go into the main dining area, you can do that here. There's so many chairs, maybe like 10 plus right here. You can have a great time. This property comes with central cooling system, guys. So no ugly hanging split units you're gonna see on the wall. You have spotlight, you have luxurious chandeliers, recess lights, all of these things put together just makes a property really, really luxurious, all right? So come this way with me. This is what I like to call uh, maybe a kitchenette. There's a wine chiller right here, so you can chill your drinks for your friends, and you know, you can also have like a bar situation right here, save your friends drinks, you know. With a property like this, you can have friends and not even know you have friends in your property because it's so big, it can accommodate anybody and any number of persons, all right? Now we are at the, you know, exterior space. Once again, you have a sitting situation right here. This table actually does spin. It's made of ceramic, so, and the chair has covers on them just in case it rains, so it's protected on there. So you have pillars, and once again, the recess lights. All of these recess lights will come in handy when it gets at night. I wish we can stay longer to see what the night shot looks like, so you really appreciate it. All right, now we have the pool, guys. This is one hell of a pool. It's so big that it wraps around all through the property, so from the entrance, you can see that the pool starts all the way from there. So it's not like a, an LC ship. So I see that area can be for the children and this area can be for the adults. So that makes sense, all right? This house is sitting on 3,000 square meters and the property itself is on 1,500 square meters. So all these green spaces you see here, guys, put together, we're looking at like 1,500 square meters. So for the few of you that like to complain about green spaces in the home, here you have it. 1,500 square meters of pure interior space right here in the property. So when you are at the backyard, you can see the ocean just on there. And I was also told one of the master plan of the estate is to make sure that uh, each of these properties have access to uh, a dock on there so you can park your yard, your yard if you have your a yard on there, all right? So that's pretty much what it is going on for the exterior space. You have more spaces on there that you can set, you know, tables, cabanas, live like a true king right here in Zanzibar, Tanzania, all right? Right here is another sitting arrangement, but this area can be converted to, you can put like a tennis here so you can play like table tennis with your friends. So you have fans on here to cool the space. And there's also recess light. I forgot to mention the central speakers, the cameras. So this can be controlled wherever you are in the property. With your phone, you can choose which floor you are on to play music, which is some of the features that make something truly luxurious, all right? Let's go back into the property right now, go to the kitchen, and then we'll go to the right-hand side of the property. Let's go. So going further right into the property takes us to a very interesting segment of the house. It has what I like to call the main kitchen, living room, uh, laundry room, and all of those goodness, right? Come in, guys. And what I didn't mention at the beginning is the house is it's a smart house, right? You have this tab. I'm going to show you. Come inside. So you have these tabs on here, right? So each of the rooms has its own tab, so you can pretty much co control the lights, the curtains. I mean, you guys have seen smart automation here on the channel, so you have that feature here just in case, you know, you love to do things with your phone, all right? So this is uh, what I like to call um, the dry kitchen. If you want to prepare meals that are not so, that, not, that doesn't have so much strong odor, so you have your induction hob cooker. And this right here, is the extractor so it sucks out the heat and then you have your coffee maker oven microwave and all those goodness all right so down here you have another sitting arrangement just in case you want to sit down and eat with your friends another living uh, dining situation here for your friends 
you know, if I was to own this property, today I would have breakfast here, you know, lunch here, dinner up, you know. So you can pretty much choose where you like to eat with your friends or with your family, all right? Now, this area takes us into the main living room here on this floor. So you have a, a console on there and another sitting arrangement. Guys, I can't even tell you how quality of a couch this is. I mean, I don't know if you guys can really see it from the camera, but these chairs look like, I mean, they look like $20,000 upwards, right? So there's, they spent a lot of money furnishing this property and it comes all together for the same asking price, all right? Now, this also has uh, an entrance to the exterior that I told you you can set like a, tennis, a table tennis situation on here if you want that, all right? So that's all for this part of the house. So this is what I like to call the proper kitchen. Now, this is where you prepare your real meals with strong scent and all of those things. So you have your induction hub, you have your cooker, uh, oven, microwave, and you know, an extractor right here. Cabinetry with all the goodness you need. And then obviously a mini island with storage, cabinetry, really beautiful. And this is sort of like the cool room. So our stove, so a big refrigerator is on there. And this is the storage, the pantry, however I like to call it. And going this way, this is scullery for the South Africans, laundry for the rest of the world. <laughs> okay, so you have two washer, two dryer, cabinetry, and views as well for the exterior area. I love it. Guys, let me know what you think. So we finished touring, you know, the right hand side of the property and now we're going to the left. I also forgot to mention, my bad, there's also a lift that goes across the three floors. So just in case you don't want to use this lovely spiral staircase that goes to the top, you can also use uh, the lift to access the floors, all right? So we're going into a very interesting part of the property that's a little bit more private for the homeowner. Not too many people would act, access this floor. I love the, the, the light detailing coming on here. All these things come into handy at night. All right, so we have the, are we counting? The third living room right here, I got that right. So we have the third living room situation on here, recessed lighting, views of the ocean and the pool as well. Very nice couch on here, uh, TV console. You know, you can have private family time right here if you don't want to spend time in the other bigger bedrooms on the left-hand side of the property. Right here we have what I like to call an office slash a library. Very executive sitting arrangement right here. A TV and a huge console that goes all the way to the top. The double volume really comes in handy because sitting down here, you can see all your books lined up there. The chandelier light alone, the recess, and also the cooling system just makes this whole space come alive, right? I don't know exactly what the wall on this other side is made of. I think it's a, it's a wallpaper. I really don't know, but it adds to the decor, to the interior decor of the space, right? The huge windows, guys, showing the exterior space. And this is also an entrance or exit into a property. Now, for safety reasons, it's always good for a property to have, for a big property like this to have up to five entrance and exits. But right here, we're talking about what eight entrance and exits, which from the safety perspective, it's awesome, all right? This is the most biggest cinema I have ever seen in a property. The only, not, not only is it the biggest, the most luxurious, and I'm leaving that part for you guys to add. Come inside. I don't know, my head is just trying to count. We have maybe 15, 20 chairs on here. Very lovely chairs with USB charging situation, uh, reclinable chairs, and I don't know, okay, it doesn't have a massage, but they're reclining, they're so comfortable, just like the first class seats in an Emirates Airbus A380, something like that. <laughs> so, recess lights coming off from this place, everything is wrapped, it's soundproofed, really cozy, the AC just makes this place like you're in a cooling room, you know? Uh, it's really big, you even have situations. <laughs> Come on, man, guys. This is, this is a property for a true billionaire who wants to really like live life to the fullest right here in Zanzibar, Tanzania, all right? All of these controls, you can use this to control, you know, the cinema and a very huge projector on there. So you have a control here. You can control all the spotlights 
and every cool thing and also it can be done with your phone just in case you don't want to be walking around um i love it here i don't know about you but kudos to the guys that builds this all right let's go to the other part of the house okay so there are about three rooms i think two of them is unique so i'll just show you that quickly um let's first check this out okay so you have once again a central cooling system and an ipod to control all the light situations you have access right here to the exterior side uh it's really cold but i really do love how you know they synchronized or they made the bathroom syncing with this space which is really nice so if you step in here you have once again automated lights vanity and your standing shower with a spaceship i like to call that toilet a spaceship toilet okay let's go take a look at the other ones look at this detailing going here on the wall right really adds to the you know overall value of the property you have another sitting arrangement right here just in case you have friends and this is sort of like the main bedroom for this particular floor so come in uh we're gonna go all the way around you have couch it's like a, a queen size bed maybe like a four by six a nice console going on here for you uh it's all the rooms are really cold i don't know how much the light view here is but <laughs> it's something we're going to talk about another day okay so this is the bathroom on here once again automated lights you have your bathtub your vanity your your toilet but this particular room comes with a, a walk-in closet so you can walk in here store your clothes and all of those things right so it seems a bit like i'm rushing it because i don't want this video to be too long and i really want to cover up all the space okay so we're going to the first floor now you have two options you can either use the lift or the staircase now both left for you but in case you know you have a disabled person in your property person can use this or you can also use this i love the staircase it's spiral and just as to the overall aesthetics of the property, all right? So come with me, and just to mention, there's a recessed light that could help you climb this if it's at night and you need guidance to climb the staircase. Just a tiny feature to mention, all right? Welcome to the first floor. Um, right here, you can really do appreciate the high level ceilings because you have a double volume situation on here. So up here, you can pretty much have a view of what's happening down there. I mean, all of these tiny features, once again, adds to the overall worth of the property. Now, on this floor, we have four bedrooms plus the primary bedroom, making it five. You have a gym, uh, you know, very nice features and very nice amenities I'm going to show you. So let's start from my left-hand side and then we'll go to the right. Coming to this side of the house, sorry, there's a little of um, renovation. And that's the, that's the thing with these guys, you know, they're always, you know, adjusting the property, working on it the maintenance just to make sure anybody who steps in this property knows that it's a house that is well taken care of there are actually people sweeping cleaning and doing all of these things like someone already own, lives here okay uh, so permit all of this this maintenance uh so right here we have a view of the study or the library nice chandelier and here you have view of the outside space and of the overall uh, exterior of the property you know you can even Keep some, you know, wines here. Your nice glass to sip on your very nice Dom Perignon, okay? So, we have, you know, uh, what I like to call this is a private family lounge. Just for the family, have access only to this. There's also a situation, a kitchen, a kitchen situation on here. Microwave oven, uh, your control panels on there, and your TV situation, views of the exterior. I love it central cooling system, uh, inbuilt central speakers, recess lights, and all of this goodness, all right? There are four rooms on this floor, plus the primary bedroom making it five. Two of these, they're identical. Two of these are identical, but the most spacious and biggest. So I'm gonna show you guys just one. You come inside. Once again, you have controls right here, and it welcomes us into the room. Uh, this looks like a five by five or a five by six bed. CV2 situation cabinetry made of glass and once again all of this comes with the property recess light uh inbuilt cooling system now on the back here we have um i don't know if you guys saw that the automated light so it comes up your bathtub your standing shower it's so big it's so luxurious too many button features going on there uh i love it and then you have your wc 
on here, a vanity situation. And if you come this way, we have sort of like a walk-in closet on here to store your things. Uh, you have lighting up there on the ceiling, uh, extractor, and all of these good things that makes this space really nice. So, um, let me know what you guys think because I love it. Four rooms, both the primary bedroom, we can't really access the primary bedroom. Reason being that there's some security features that are in there that is left for the owner of the property. By that, I mean the person is going to buy this property. So we can't get access and show you some of those security features and pretty much the layout of that space. All right. So for that being said, we'll skip that part. But I mean, all together, there are eight bedrooms, including the primary bedroom. And this is the primary bedroom. As you can see, there's a password and all of those things. So um, I really do understand what they're trying to do just to keep the security features hidden just for the owner of the property. And that makes sense, all right? Uh, this area is the gym, all right? So this comes to the property, but once again, if you buy this, you can pretty much adjust it properly and even bring more machine. You have cooling system, recess lights, inbuilt speakers, and all the controls on this side. So as I told you, there are three levels. So we're at the first, they are on the second level, and now we're gonna to go to the third level, which we're gonna see the rooftop where you can, if you want to have parties in this house, that's an ideal place to set up that, all right? This nice spiral staircase, once again, takes us to that floor. And if you use the lift, this is probably where you're going to come out from. And this door is going to take us to the exterior space. So we'll go check it out. Okay, so we first have sort of like a, a kitchen situation once again, because if you want to have any get together or party in your property, you want to make sure you have wine chillers and a place where you can prepare meals. So you have that right here. In the, in the rooftop, right? So, guys, I can never stop talking about this view. Endless views, 360 views of the ocean. So all of these are speakers, and you can have views of your surrounding. You can put chairs on here to relax. Uh, it's really big that it stretched all the way to the right-hand side over there. And if you stay here in the property, you really do gonna admire such an upscale, modern, house and a true mansion it is that you're living right here and a very nice uh it's a very nice way to live you know it's, everybody should live like this <laughs> anyway so this area was designed to have like a, a, a fire pit so about you know in this part of town it's not cold so you can put plants on there and it grows out real nice you have uh, a jacuzzi or yeah a jacuzzi now, that's what you have that space for, so they are, they are working on putting it on there. So whosoever buys this property will enjoy that feature. So, guys, that is pretty much the end of this video. Uh, once again, this is the biggest home we've ever told on the channel with the asking price of $12 million. That's a lot of money, but you can look at the features the house comes with. 3,000 square meters, four kitchens, four living rooms, eight bedrooms, a, like you have a very big pool, a library, an office, a gym. What else can you ask in a property, all right? And that's basically it for this tour. I hope you guys loved it, because I love it. I want to give shout out to the property developers giving us access to shoot this house. And if you're on the market, guys, looking to buy a property like this or invest in the Fumba Uptown right here in Zanzibar, Tanzania, I'm going to leave their details in the description. I would urge you to contact them because right here is a lifestyle, guys. I mean, most people would come here, buy properties, and use it as their holiday homes. They're going to buy properties for investment purpose. Or imagine having a home like this, and when you're not here, it's making money for you. When you're here, you're on holiday, and all these good things, all right? So that's what it is. Subscribe to the channel if it's your first time. My name is Steve. We make videos about real estate and travel all around Africa. I'd like to have you join my family. So we tour Africa and the world together, all right? Until the next video, I'll see you soon.